Many light workers, star seeds, way showers, and indigos are experiencing intense pain and trauma right now. We search inside for what we have done wrong. You've done nothing wrong. You are not living out some kind of past karma or anything even like that. My guess is you came to Earth at this time because of the great shift, the great shift from the third to the fifth dimension, which also brings about a, a huge change of consciousness. But we forget who we are so that we can live like the local people and then help them in ways that they can understand. If we go through what they are going through, we have a better idea of how to help them and help planet Earth. It seems that everywhere I look, everybody's going through some kind of tremendous amount of pain and suffering right now, but why? Well, part of the journey and part of the mission is to help process these intense negativities off of the planet. We are the first wave of ascension. Fortunately, it does not come with a handbook, and we've been forced to wing it. As way showers, what we go through helps the next third of the next wave, and then we all help the last third. We are the first waves. And as first waivers, if we aren't centered, we have a harder time. When we can process all of these heavy emotions, we transmute them. They're out of your field. They're off the planet. It's gone. The next generation, they're not going to have to deal with so much as what we have gone through. Thank God it's going to be easier for them. Many people are just feeling exhausted. I just see it everywhere. And people, you know, you don't know why. I can't sleep. I don't feel well. I'm tired all the time. And, and we don't know that we're here doing the most important thing on the planet. For the Earth, for the Mother Earth herself. And when, we, when it gets worse and worse for us, it's like some, you know, your soul's trying to get your attention. When you realize this is what you're doing here, it will ease up. You're not causing the negativity, but with our lack of information about what our mission is and what we're actually doing, well, the universe is going, hey, look over here. It'll force you to slow down and stop altogether until you get it. Uh, I hate that when I have to just go to bed to lay down and figure out what I message I need to hear. But we're all going through all of this because we love humanity. We came here to help. And now that we know it, it won't have to be such a huge sacrifice anymore. Knowing all of this that we're experiencing, and knowing it may not be our own, but the collective, it takes the pressure off of us. Nothing is wrong with you. You're a master. You were chosen by your tribe to come here at this time. <laughs> All kinds of emotions come up throughout the day. You know, we stop, we notice, notice what you feel. You can acknowledge it. That's what you're doing, processing it off the planet. Pain, anger, confusion, fear, whatever. That's what we're doing. And it forces us to stay in the body, which is uh, eh, not fun for most of us. We like the ethereal realms. <laughs> but we came to experience being in the body so having all this information can create distance between you and your problems a thought may enter your mind it may not even be your own thought and then you know we blame ourselves for being wow what i think that for what am i gonna manifest you know that's not what it's about at all don't blame yourself because you created something you don't like that's not what it's about you're, you're processing for the planet. We're in a new paradigm. What used to work doesn't work anymore. And that's a weird thing to experience. The rules are new. We have to grope our way around till we find out what's really going on. But once we understand our part, the universe will not seem so intense to us. It backs off. It's not going to force us to be listening to what it's trying to say. 
We'll be able to create distance between ourselves and our problems. You know, you won't feel so responsible and realize you're doing something of a very high calling all along. You know, as we go through the day, we, we switch timelines back and forth. But now, we we'll, just knowing this, we'll be able to reach a higher energetic field. Get a broader view that way. And this makes it possible for other people also. You will raise in vibration. Sometimes I'll turn on the news and, oh, there's something that just oh upsets me. And if you're an empath, you know that how hard that is. And now I just go to the inner child within and say, oh, I'm here for you. You know, I'm here. There's an adult here now because we have... Many of us have so much trauma from childhood, being a baby, being helpless, being a, a young, aware person in a world of dense, unaware people. <laughs> and that inner child is still crying and suffering. But we can tell them, hey, there's an adult on your behalf now. And you can love that inner child. And when you see something you don't like, you could turn it into a blessing. You see somebody who's in pain, you can bless everyone on the planet who's in pain. And then when you do that, that raises your own vibration. Because when when you're an empath and you feel that pain, it lowers you to that energetic field. When you bless it, it raises you back up. It raises you to the higher vibratory fields. And then you begin to feel buoyant, light, more bubbly. You feel more peaceful inside. Know that all is well with the world. Everything is unfolding miraculously. It doesn't feel that way when you're identifying with all the negativity. And as you raise in vibration, you begin to experience a completely different world. You feel more peaceful and joyful and lighthearted. And you're able to tap into the higher dimensions for information you may need for yourself at any time. So when you, when you see trouble, when you hear about trouble... Make sure your inner child is okay. Make sure that you're not suffering inside. And then bless those who you know who are in pain. Bless all who are in pain. Bless all who have lost hope. Bless all who have the inability to understand what is happening on our planet. And may you be blessed.